Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I want to show how to make digital hats with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after finished video, I will share download links. So first of one, let's go to shape layers, hold this icon and select this ellipse tool. Let's hold shift, make one ellipse and click tool and go to fill and select this none for close fill color then go to stroke and change stroke width change like this and open ellipse 1 stroke 1 and click this dashes icon change dashes like this Okay, and let's make animation with expressions. Hold Alt and click this offset. Let's write the expression here. Wiggle 1 and 2000. For done expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's close shape layer 1 and add name. Had 1. Then go to shape layers again. Let's create new ellipse tool. Hold shift, make one ellipse, and change stroke width, and move to here like this. And let's open ellipse one, stroke one, and click dashes. And let's chain dashes like this. Okay, and let's hold alt click again, time icon for offset. Let's write here time and 150 click here let's see okay not bad so in this time let's select this shape layer at name hat 2 so in this time let's go to here let's select this ellipse tool and hold shift make one shape layer again and move to center like this then go to stroke chain stroke zero and go to fill open fill color let's select this white color click ok and let's press s make scale chain frame chain scale zero go to 10 chain frame for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the chairboard or other way click here right here plus 10 click ok ok let's change scale 100 Okay, go to again 10 shape frame, change 0. Select shape frames, make easies. Let's see. Okay, select shape frames, hold Alt, move right. Okay, let's hold Alt, move right again. Okay, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Okay, not bad. Back to shape frames and hold Alt, click this time icon. Go to play button, property, and loop out duration. Click here for done expression. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So, in this time, let's go to FX presses, search FX gradient ramp. Select this gradient ramp, and let's use for this HUD one. And go to end color. Let's select this dark blue. Click OK. Go to start color. Let's select our dropper, select this dark blue and move to up for light. Okay, click OK. Let's move to up again. Click OK. Select this HUD 1, go to select gradient RAM, Control C, and select this shape layer, Control V. Let's change name, circle, scale, and change color like this. Okay, in this time, select this HUD 2, let's move to behind HUD 1 and go to FX presses, search FX glow, select this glow, let's use for this HUD 1 and let's try change glow radius. Okay, let's see, 
Nice, and select this glow, control C, select this circle scale, and control V. Nice. Let's try chain glow radius. And select this hard one, chain glow radius also. Okay, very nice. And select this hard two, control V. Change glow radius. Okay, not bad. So, select these shape layers and right mouse, precombs, and add name, hat, elements. Click OK. Back to main composition. And let's click here for 3D layer. Press R. Chain rotation like this. And move to down. OK. And Ctrl D for duplicate. Press S. Chain scale. And move to up like this. Control D again, press S, change scale, and move to up. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's control D again, press P. Let's move to up, and press S, change scale. Okay, let's see. Not bad. So. Let's select this and this composition. Right mouse, go to time and time reverse layer. Let's say again. Okay, nice random animation. So, select this hot composition. Let's control D and move to up. Okay, press S, chain scale. And move to up here. Press R, chain rotation. Like this. Okay, so in this time, let's right mouse, new and solid. Let's add the name light and select color like this. Click OK and click OK here. Then go to pen tool and let's make random mask. Okay, let's move to here and this here. And this and here. So in this time, select this solid layer, open here. Let's open mask, mask one, and change mask feather. Okay, press T, change opacity. Okay, not bad. And let's select this glow, let's use for this light. Let's change glow radius. Okay. Okay, let's see. Nice. Very good. So let's try select these hood elements. Let's move to left and this. Move to left and this. Okay, nice. So let's create new background, right mouse, new and solid. Add name background, click OK. Move to back here, behind. Go to FX presets, search FX gradient ramp. Select this gradient ramp, let's use for this background. And go to end color, let's select this dark blue. Click OK. And start color, let's select these colors. Click OK and change ramp shape, radial ramp. OK, and let's move it down like this. OK, let's change start color. OK, and end color to dark. And move to here like this. OK, very nice. So in this time, let's create new solid layer, right mouse, new and solid layer, add name particles. Click OK, go to FS presets, search effect CC bubble. Select the CC bubble, let's use for these particles. And let's change shading type like this, let's change quality full. Okay, and go to FS Presses, search effect 
fill select this fill and let's use for these particles change color white or yellow let's try color yellow okay and let's see change quality quarter let's see animation okay so select this light let's control d select these particles move to center light layers and go to click toggle switch modes change non to alpha matte let's see okay not bad so let's try change fill color white or blue let's see okay and let's search effect glow select this glow let's use for these particles change glow radius okay and change bubble size one or two nice and select this particle go to pen tool and let's make pen tool like this okay let's see okay not bad let's say particles press t change opacity okay not bad so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck